Now we're going to go over adding Guardians to Google Classroom from your SIS. Um, this is a little more involved, but in the end it will automate things and uh, reduce work. There are several ways to do it. The uh, way I chose is through PowerShell and GAM on a Windows Server. To do it this way, there are a few prerequisites. Obviously, you need a Windows Server, um, preferably 2012 or newer. Um, you need to have GAM installed. GAM is a tool that works with Google's API on the back end, and you can find information on how to install it at this address here. The link will be included in the blog post. The next requirement you have is we have to have a um, CSV coming from your SIS. Your CSV needs to have student emails and guardian emails and the way I have it written is with a header. Um, and each student can have more than one guardian and each guardian can have more than one student. Um, but this CSV needs to be ran nightly or however often you want to update guardians and then uh, deposit it into a folder or download it somewhere where you can read with the script. And then the script that we have here, it's, it's pretty simple. First, we import the CSV, the one that we got from our SIS, um, and load it into a variable here. Then we use GAM to download a list from Google of our parents that are already invited. Um, this worked for districts up to around two or three thousand. If you have a larger district, this is going to take way too long, um, and you'll have to go with a more complicated setup. All right, and then we have for each guardian and guardians. This steps through this and does each line. Um, we set a variable with the guardian's email, then we set one with the student's email, and then we check our. Then we check the variable we set earlier to make sure there's not already a guardian with that email invited for that student. If we didn't find anything in that previous step, meaning that there isn't a guardian with, for this student with those email addresses, then we run the GAM script here to invite them. Once you have the script somewhere and you have your CSV coming nightly and you have GAM installed, the next step is to schedule a task. This will allow you to automate it. So you'd want to have your task where it downloads your CSVs from your SIS, and then you're going to create a task, and we're going to call this Example Classroom. All right, and I like to have mine run daily, and then you're going to want it to run like an hour after your download runs. So say, say my download runs at 3 a.m. I'm going to have this run at 4 a.m. and recur every day. Then we're going to have it start a program. And then we're going to have it start. It's under Windows System 32, Windows PowerShell version 1.0, and then the PowerShell. And then your argument is the path to the script file. And then that's it. And you would click finish. I've already got one running and obviously this one was an example so I don't want to run this one. That's all there is to it. Thanks. Bye.